All right, so my name is Zachary Block, and I'm here to talk to you today about crazy time. So, what crazy time really is, is it's just a collection of ideas that we've been coming up with, and it's been my job to kind of look into them and see if they're feasible. Um, so the first set of ideas I'm going to talk about today are propulsion ideas. Uh, so these are just some of the ideas that the group has come up with uh, to reduce the fuel needed to fly from here to Alpha Centauri. So that includes uh, getting up to speed as well as decelerating. So, first one is called Project Bang Bang. <laughs> so, um, the idea is basically to have two coil guns. Uh, one is going to be outside of another coil gun, and our craft is going to lie inside of the inner coil gun. Uh, so how it works is um, our craft is put inside the first coil gun, and that coil gun is put inside of another coil gun, <laughs> and we fire the coil gun ship pair towards Alpha Centauri, and when we get there, we then fire the second coil gun. So it will give our craft a net zero momentum, stopping it, and the coil gun will fly off. Um, so this works. Awesome. All right, so <laughs> all right, so here's Earth, Earth, and here is your coil gun. All right, so the plan is to put a coil gun facing uh, the opposite direction from the first coil gun put our craft inside of this coil gun. So you fire it off, we have this coil gun with our craft in it, flying towards Alpha Centauri. And then when we get here, we fire the coil gun, and the coil gun goes this way, and our craft stays stationary. No. Yeah. Um, so, look into this, and it's very unfeasible, as one would expect. <laughs> um, so, while it does cut the amount of fuel needed, you have to generate insane amounts of power, both at Earth and then when you get there. Um, and in addition, you know, you're essentially launching a coil gun at 12% the speed of light when we get there because we're launching it initially at 6% and then launching it again. So you end up with a projectile traveling very, very fast and you don't know where it could end up. It could, you know, end up crashing into a planet or into the sun and, you know, we really don't know what happens when something traveling some percentage of the speed of light hits a star, I don't know, you know could cause some major issues in Alpha Centauri that we don't want to deal with. I think we should find out. <laughs> well, we can. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty bad. So, um, moving on to idea number two. This is called Project Icarus Super Collider. Um, so we wanted to take this idea of using coil guns and try and get our craft up to speed before we even leave the solar system. So the idea was to use a series of uh, coil guns arranged in a circle. So I don't know if anybody's uh, familiar with the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, basically it's a giant ring with a bunch of uh, electromagnets on it and it makes a, uh, a proton travel in a circular path, accelerating it to 99% the speed of light. Yes. So. We're going to be doing that, except we're not going to crash it. So we're going to arrange these coil guns in a circle and accelerate the craft in them. And then uh, at a certain point, uh, we would launch it towards Alpha Centauri. So once again, this reduces the amount of fuel needed. Uh, you still need fuel to decelerate, uh, but you don't need it to accelerate up to speed. Um, and the drawbacks with this, again, are you know you have massive power needs. Uh, to both accelerate the craft and to keep it going in a circle. And the precision that you need to launch the craft towards Alpha Centauri at the exact moment where its trajectory actually points there is astronomical and it's not even, 
I don't even think that that is a possibility. So, uh, so yeah, so that kind of takes this idea out of the picture. So that brings us to the project acceleration gate. Um, so I really like this idea of coil guns. So I was thinking, how, how can we make this work? <laughs> so I came to the conclusion that maybe if we had a series of coil guns set up at Lagrange points throughout the solar system, uh, we would be able to accelerate the craft while in the solar system up to speed. Um, so it basically traveling through these successive acceleration gates and through a series of uh, orbital maneuvers, it would end up with a trajectory towards Alpha Centauri. So, uh, to the left, you can kind of see what I'm going for here. You got these uh, gates, acceleration gates, and no. <laughs> Why is the craft burning up? I don't think that's good. Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Ours won't be burning up. Oh, okay. So, um, and on the right, I just had a picture of what Lagrange points are. They're basically points uh, around the solar system where the gravity caused by various bodies cancels out, so basically stays in a stationary position. Uh, the ones that are listed here are just at or around Earth's orbit. So you have one there, one there, one there. And the plan is just to arrange the gates at these Lagrange points so that you'd end up going through each of them on your way out. Um, so while there are still some issues that need to be figured out, uh, such as the orb orbital mechanics needed, the power needed, and the gate design, uh, we believe that this idea is feasible. Um, we believe that, you know, since we're going to be building the craft in orbit anyway, we will have the manufacturing capabilities to create these uh, gates and then push them to where they need to be via some sort of propulsion method. Um, and we also know uh, a great deal about orbital mechanics and we can set it up so that uh, the craft's trajectory uh, will kind of work its way around planets and use gravity to its advantage to kind of change its uh, direction. So moving on to communication ideas, uh, as Larry touched on in his presentation, the theoretical limit for radio communications is uh, 1000 AU. Uh, so our, our group has been coming up with some ideas to help uh, alleviate this, this issue. So the first project that we've been looking at is called Project Lifeline. And uh, this involves creating a K-1 